Welcome to UARC. In this video, we're gonna solve some tricky matchstick puzzles and let's get started. So, our very first question is to move two matchsticks and to create four squares out of five squares given in the question. So, your time starts now. So, start thinking. So, here the answer is D. We have to move top, first and bottom row, center, matchsticks so that we can create 4 squares out of this 5 square. Let's see how. So, this is the question figure. So, we are going to move the first stick here and the second stick this way. So, hope you got it. One. Two, three, and four squares. Right. How should we do this? Actually, we have 16 sticks here, which means in order to make four squares out of it, we should have squares which is not having any common stick for making squares. For example, you cannot have two squares sharing one side. If it is done like that, then we can achieve our four squares easily. So, this is how this is made. So, our next question is to move three matchsticks so that four squares can be derived out of five squares. Your time starts right now. Here, the answer is C. Let's see how it is. So, here we have to move 3 matchsticks. There are totally 16 matchsticks in the figure. So, in order to make 4 squares out of 16 matchsticks, what is the rule? Yeah, none of the square should share its side with the other square. If it happens like that, then we can easily achieve. So, let's see how it is happening. First stick. Second. Third. So, the same figure like 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hope you got it. So, this is our third question. By moving... Which of the following three matchsticks can five triangles be derived from three triangles? So, totally they have three triangles in the question. They are asking us to move three matchsticks to make it five. So, I'll show you how here. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4 and the outer triangle is 5. Moving on to the next question. So here, by moving two matchsticks, can four triangles be derived from three triangles? Now here, we have to make four triangles only and your time starts now. So 
so here this is how it is made okay 1 2 3 and 4 so next by moving four matchsticks we have to create three squares out of the four squares in the question your time starts right now so how many matchsticks are here 12 which means none of the square should share its side with the other square which means we can easily get the three squares out of this so let's see how so hope you got it by adding two matchsticks we have to create seven squares out of three squares in the question figure. We have to add these two matchsticks into it. Let's see how. So here one the overall one is two and three here four five six and seven. So moving on to the next question. So here we have to move two matchsticks to create identical triangles. So now your time starts. The first matchstick and the second matchstick. Done. So this is how we create one two and three identical triangles so here we have to move three matchsticks but to change the direction of the composition so with moving of three matchsticks how to change the direction of composition think about it First, second, and third, the direction from here has changed to this way. Moving on to the next question. By moving three matchsticks, we have to create three equal squares here. So, your time starts now. First, second, and third. So, same principle. If it is 12 six, then none of the square should share its side with other square. The questions are getting tougher. So, we have to read the questions clearly and understand it so that we can solve easily. So, here the question says we have to remove one stick and then move four sticks to get. 11 squares out of this 4 squares in the equation. So let's think about it. So first I'm removing 
one six. Next, I'm moving four six. So now let's count the squares. One, two, three, four, and the fifth bigger square. So this composition has five squares, and even here it will have five squares. So that is the other one. So the other one is in between here. So can you guys see it? So totally eleven squares. So here, by moving four matchsticks, we have to create an equilateral triangle. So think about it. Two sticks, two more sticks I have to make. So done. One, two, and three. Moving on to the next question. So here, by moving three matchsticks, only seven triangles have to be created out of this thirteen triangles out here. Your time starts now. So I'll start removing first, second, and third. So now we will start counting the triangles. Okay, one, two, three, and the bigger one is called fourth here. Right. So we are going to find other three. Five. Six and seven. So totally, we got seven triangles. So by moving three matchsticks, we have to create four equilateral triangle. So your time starts now. So let's start moving. First, second stick, and third stick. So totally, we got four triangles here: one, two, three, and four. Here, done. Can you find the next number in the matchstick series? So here the answer is one. I'll explain you why. See, in the first figure, which is eight, eight have six joins. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Whereas nine has five joins, and five has four joins. Here three has three joins, and Seven has two join and one has one join. So at every step, the number of join goes down by one. This is the logic behind the series. Can you decipher the two rows to find the hidden word here? Let's try. So something is in inverse way. 
let's try rotating it the answer is loto so even we can do it in easy way by flipping first row and second row vertically we get this answer so by moving four mat sticks we have to create three squares out of this two squares This is how we got three squares. One, two, and the outer one is three. By moving one matchstick, we have to derive three cubes out of the four cubes here. I think we can visualize the cubes in 3D form here. Your time starts now. So, I am removing one stick which is here. So, here we have three imaginary cubes. Right. So, hope you got where the three cubes are. Moving on to the next question. By adding three match sticks, we have to derive ten triangles and one pentagon out of this two match sticks. So your time starts now. First, second and third. And you can see the pentagon also here. Can we count how it is 10? I guess you already know 1. 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just hold this point so you'll get a triangle here. 1. This point, it is 6. This point, then you'll get a triangle joining at that point. 7. This point. 8. 4. So, this is how we get 10 triangles and 1 pentagon. So, what if, if the question is given this way? So, if you have to add 3 matchstick to this and you will get 8 triangles and 1 hexagon. How we will do it? This way. So hexagon is here. So we have eight triangles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this one. Seven and finally here. It is eight. So another question by adding four match sticks, can we create Four equal triangles and two squares out of this one single square. Your time starts now. So, here can we see 1, 2, 3 and 4 equal triangles and 2 squares. One bigger one and second one in the smaller. So, so here we have another option also. Using the 4 matchstick, we can create 8 triangles. See here. 
so we have two squares already one and the other one is two squares so two squares are already made so let's try eight triangles one two three four five six seven and eight so moving on to the next question sorry i forgot to tell we have a octagon here so remember this also so 19th question by removing four matrix we have to create six rhombus and six triangles here So we are removing two and then two here. So let's count how many triangles first because it will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now let's find the rhombus. Okay. So first rhombus, second, so Third, fourth, fifth, and then six. So we have six numbers also. So this question by removing one matrix, we have to derive nine triangles out of the thirteen triangles out here. So your time starts now. So the one which I removed here, let's start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth one. We removed only one matchstick and we reduced four triangles. By adding two matchsticks, we have to create or derive four equal triangles and one squares. Overlapping is possible in this particular problem. See, we have created one. Two, three, and four triangles and one square. Right. See, what if the question is asked this way that overlapping is not possible? Then we cannot add two matchsticks to get this one. We have to add four matchsticks. I'll show you how it is. See here. So, one, two, three, four. Here we didn't overlap any matchsticks. We are getting the same figure. Right. So moving on to the next question. We have to move two matchsticks and we have to derive four triangles out of the question figure and overlapping is allowed here. So your time starts now. First matchstick, second. So, can you feel one triangle and two here? So, two here, same way, two here. Right. So, totally we have four triangles. So, you have to think out of the box. 
for this question because we have practiced similar type of questions earlier. So this you have to think out of the box I think. So make 3 matches into 6 without breaking into pieces. So think about it. Easy, right? This is a six. Roman letter. So our next question is: We have to add five matchsticks to the six matchsticks. So totally, we have eleven matchstick, and we have to make nine out of it. So again, this is something similar to that. See here, we made nine with alphabet. So again, this is another think out of the box question. We have to move one matrix and we have to derive four triangle. So your time starts now. So see here. I am removing one, adding here. So I clearly told you it is four triangle. I didn't tell four triangles, right? So four and triangle. So that's all. So do subscribe our channel and also watch other videos. It will be definitely informative for you. And thank you for watching till end. Tata, bye bye. Take care, guys.